Welcome back to Blind Date, the show that pokes fun at the perils of romance. I'm Roger Lodge, and it's time to meet the next participants in our never-ending search for love. Tony is a 28-year-old construction worker with a New York attitude, even though technically he's from Jersey. Tony spends his free time patiently waiting for Andrew Dice Clay's comeback. If that weren't enough, this well-groomed stud is incredibly limber. Come on, he could have been an Olympic gymnast if his love of construction hadn't gotten in the way. So lady, come on, what's not the love about this guy? Now we're setting Tony up with Marsha, a 27-year-old hostess who wants a bodybuilder with meaty pecs and fleshy quads. But since Marsha is a nice religious girl, she's looking for a moral muscle head as well. Somebody who won't try any hanky-panky. Well, maybe a little hanky, but certainly no panky. It is Antonio. I am here for you. Hi. Ooh. And are you Marcia? <laughs> yeah. Hi. It's oh. a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm Tony. You're not a shy guy. Well, no. I'm from the East Coast. We don't fool around. From where? Jersey. Boston. Are you ready? We got the whole thing laid out. We're going to have coffee. We're going to have Italian. You like Italian food? Yeah. Because it's oh, Definitely. It's Mom's Italian. Mom's Italian. <laughs> okay, see? This is starting to look good. This is starting to look good. You're so fashionable. See, I look sloppy. See, you're so nice. All right. No, I have sneakers on. I no, didn't that's what you I should. Oh, you're going to need sneakers. But, you know, because I have to be comfortable. You're going to be running for me by the end of the night. Oh, you'll be in right. trouble. I'll okay. be running after you. You have everything? So you get, you get keys, you get mace. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I can fight. <laughs> I guess right. I don't even need these now. What's that? Never You're mind, talking to my But you would look so cute. Put them on. Oh, put, put them on. on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my, see, you heard me. Stop. Hello. <laughs> it's like I'm home. Okay, here we go. You ready? You're so cute. Look at you. Okay, here we go. The That's 80s would be big hair. Yeah, oh, my high school pictures. I was very big hair. Were you? Mm hmm. But it was in, you know. It I was, was in. Cool. My pump of the world. I couldn't sit in this car right now. That sucker was up here. <laughs> You know, and it was long in the back. You know, I mean, literally, it had to have been that high off my head. Literally. Is this sunset? Yeah, this yeah. is sunset. Okay. But you just took a left on the red light. Did I? Oh. Beverly Hills stinks. I don't care how much money they have. Did you ever go to the library there? Not much of a library guy, are you? Well. <laughs> All right. Well, I am okay, and I'm not ashamed that I read. Oh, uh, what was right? it? Okay, go ahead. You can rent movies there too. No. No, I, 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 I'm learning to read. It's a small well, phonics. I've heard it works. Nah, but... that's that of bonics crap, isn't it? No, <laughs> it's totally different. Green or yellow? What do you feel like? I don't care. Make a choice. This one. There's no ball in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Come don't on. hit me, man. Okay, which one? No, no. Ah, you spit on me. Did I? Uh -huh. Oh, that's <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Gross. You're a lot closer than me. Oh my gosh! I don't believe you! Who's your daddy, baby? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh no! I believe we got ourselves like a game! Needed, you did not need that confidence. You came with enough. <laughs> so we gonna say five? No, we're gonna say four. Oh, you, you're nice to me. Because you're very you cute. You're letting me win. That last shot was such quality. <laughs> what's your, uh, what's your, um, ethnicity, I guess is what you'd say. Ethnicity? Yeah. You didn't spell it right again. I know, I'm not spelling my name right either. Are you ready? Do you know how to spell your name though? No, I don't. Okay. Oh. No. Is that you? Yeah. Drugs? Uh, booty call. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's impressive. Our you know. first time out and, uh, well, oh, you're cute. What can I tell you? Ty. No, when's your, when's your birthday? So in other words, like, what's your sign type Oh thing? my gosh. You usually start out with that when you're sitting at a bar stool. I know, it's so stupid, <laughs> but you know what's funny? I kind of started to believe in that stuff. <laughs> That's even funnier. Well, I'm not it's... like reading tarot cards or nothing. I hope no. It's tarot, you don't pronounce the T. Oh, you don't pronounce uh -huh. the T? Because <laughs> no. I've been looking at it like this. Like, if I see a girl, and I like her butt, right? Like this girl. Like this girl right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up drugs at so the stupid. corner. This is like the pages have a major trouble. Oh my god! Are you like having people call you so you can look up? Well, for some reason, it just picks up weird signals, and it, I get these numbers, and I, they don't mean anything. Like I'm getting messages from aliens in outer space or something. 
You need a table for two? Yeah. Non-smoking if you got it. Non-smoking, you got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. You're so cute, look at you. Okay, here we go. Thanks. When I meet a girl and I don't want to have sex with her, that's when I know. What I'm saying is, my first thought is okay. to have right. sex with her. Not that I don't want to have sex with her. I right. see her, but I see her for the beauty of her soul. Which is why I'm saying that it, that there's no, it's not that hard to find a guy who would wait till they get married. It's not impossible. It's really not. Oh, wait, what, we, what is it? Three and a half years to sex with you? Is that what it is? Marriage. Max Fiance, she did not want to have sex until you know we were married. She was cool. I mean, we were. We actually went two years without uh, actually having sex. You know, but. Um, Are you guys up for dessert tonight? Let's just put something. I don't want anything. Just about a piece of something. Uh, he wants a piece of something. <laughs> and it's going to take marriage to get it. But go ahead. And <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, it's me. You there? Pick up. I don't know what to think. I don't know if he's serious or not. Oh my gosh, because you are just going to really die, because he is just, he's so guido, like, <laughs> I swear to God, he's, you would see him and go, oh my God, mush. You, do, you know, there's too much out there to believe in just one thing. But you know, then you've got the argument, do you determine your own destiny, do you determine your own fate? Oh, he's, he's really nice. Are you guys going to hang out? Because maybe we could hang out? <laughs> Nothing, it's just weird. It's just a whole weird thing. Okay, I'm going to go. All right, so I'm safe. Okay, bye. And tonight's my conquest. I know you're ready to go. Conquest. I, think, you. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> you better chime up. I am Columbus and you are the Santa Maria. <laughs> oh my god. No? Okay. Cheers? To what? Salute. It's the good life and good health. In all honesty. And Marsha, who the seat? Because you're cute. I'm going to get in trouble for that tonight. They don't like getting woken up. He's so cute. I hate this part. I'm really nervous. All right, well, come here. Open the door. We'll step inside the door. Just don't can't. Okay, oh, your roommate? Right. I can't. All right, we're very cute. <laughs> Here's what I want to do. Do you have, uh, I want to give you my number. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to call me something. I'm just go for a cup of coffee. I know you don't drink coffee. But we'll go no, for I do drink coffee. I just didn't drink it at night. Because oh, I think you're a doll. Thanks. And I would definitely like to talk to you again. You know? Okay, cool. Go hang out or whatever. No pressure. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to go out and not, and not a date now. Now it can just be hang out. Oh, no, you just want to hang out. No, but that's <laughs> a cool thing, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, hey, Marsha, with a C. Yeah. Let's go hang out. Because, no, you're very cool. Thanks. It was really a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. You're so cute. Okay. Well, um, so I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh, she locked the top lock, too. Crap. She must have left the living room then. She went back in her room. She locked that one. Okay. Yeah, she went back in. Okay. Okay. You'll be good, sweetheart. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take care of I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. What time is it? Take it from me, big guy. Never a good idea to go on a date and have other women paid you. Very disrespectful. All right, so how did things turn out for our couple? Well, Marsha liked Tony, and she wanted another date. I would have gone out with him again on a date if he meant he wanted to go on a date. But she was a little offended by his continual use of the word cute. I, I like cute. Well, unfortunately, I think these two will stay on their own. I'm not, like I said, I'm not her type. I'm not what she's looking for. I'm a part of what she's looking for. Oh, but there is a happy ending to the story for Tony. Oh, yeah. We're setting him up on a blind date with himself. Well, there you have it. That puts the cork on the bottle of this bubbly. I'm Roger Lodge, inviting you to tune into tomorrow's edition of Blind Date. We'll check out even more couples on that rocky road to romance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.